I just experienced the second guy in a row to ghost me moments before the date. Like, I am ready. I'm I'm assembled like an Avenger. I am ready to go, but not Michael. No, Michael's ready to ghost. And I know that's just like part of dating, but oh my God, I am over it. Specifically Austin. I am over dating in Austin. All the men here either are like, oh, I just moved here. Can you show me around? And then they ghost you or they're like, I'm just here for the weekend. How am I supposed to date under these conditions? None of them ever want to date because there's so many people moving here. That's just so easy to just be like, on to the next person. And they all have the same hinge profile and they'll say they're six foot, but they're actually five. Oh no, guys, she has been ghosted again. Gentlemen, this is the story of the modern woman, okay? She jumps on TikTok. She complains about the fact that she can't lock down a man. You know, why do these men always ghost me? Why can't I find a boyfriend? Why can't I find a husband? All of these men are so difficult. And the funny part about this, guys, is these are the questions that they'll be asking themselves until they're 40 plus years of age alone with their cats, guys. It is the same path that all of these women walk on gentlemen where you know they ignore the guys that would be good for them they ignore the healthy relationships and they want to chase the attractive dude on tinder they want to chase the dude that gives them the butterflies gentlemen while at the same time ignoring all other men so guys i have no sympathy for girls like this they will continue to make the same decision over and over again but on today's show gentlemen we're going to be looking at a compilation of these women who get ghosted so without further ado guys let's jump right into the video um, I'll do the number seven. Number seven? Seven. Number eleven? Seven. <laughs> Sorry, I can't hear you. It's okay. Number seven. Okay, number eleven. Guys, the thing about this, right, is like if you're making the same mistake over and over again, so let's take a read of some of these things, okay? So she says that she's looking for a good communicator but she ends up with a guy who's emotionally unavailable. Okay, and she's in her 30s, right? The next thing, she's trying to find a guy who she's mutually compatible with, and she gets screwed over again. She's looking for her quote-unquote better half, and what's this one? Uh, she's looking for her forever person, and she runs into an F-boy. At a certain point, guys, it just comes down to the quality of men you're deciding to date. These girls want to take no accountability for the men that they let into their life, and then they'll complain about the fact that they get ghosted or it's another F-boy. You're choosing the F-boys. You're choosing the guys who are going to ghost you, and you get on TikTok and complain about it. Really, man. I'm all dressed up. I did my makeup. I did my hair. I've got some pit stains. I've got some Western gear happening. My faves. And I've got my cowboy boots on. And I'm going on a date. I have no hope for this. <laughs> Do you guys why know why, excuse me, that she says that she has no hope, guys? It's because the past 50 dates that these women have been on, the, the, the guy just tries to get with them and then calls it that if she's not interested. You know, and the reason why guys do this, gentlemen, is because guys are sick of having their time wasted a lot of times. Like, the, the thing about this is, guys, and this is something that men are coming to realize more and more, is like, a, a lot of men are starting to think, okay, look, why would I go out there, spend all this money on you, you know, drive you around, compliment you, you do all this, these quote-unquote chivalrous things when the guy before me doesn't have to spend any money on you he doesn't have to take you out um you get with him on the first night you you make all the effort and yet i'm supposed to jump through all of these hoops for you guys you, you see what i'm you see what i'm getting at here gentlemen where dudes are just kind of over dating you know there's this saying gentlemen that chivalry is dead and uh women killed it <laughs> none 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 no hope <laughs> And you can tell this stuff like right off the bat. Like if you guys didn't catch that as well, like on the on her forearm over here, I don't know if you guys can really see that. I'm kind of flicking through, uh, but she's got a bit. She's got a tattoo on her forearm. Uh, you guys can't really see it up here, but she's got a tattoo on her forearm. Okay, a lot of these girls. I'm not sure about this woman in particular, but you know, single mothers and stuff like that going through their life expecting to find Mr. Right. And the thing is, like, some of them just uh, 
you know, they eventually give up on finding Mr. Right as well, even though all throughout their life, guys, like, don't feel bad for these girls, because even while she's saying this, she's like, oh, yeah, I expect it to not work out. I guarantee you, man, there's some dude in her life who would be willing to give her a relationship and everything like that. But she, she just thinks that she's better than him. Uh, she's, you know, she, she wants the guy who, who's exciting, the guy who makes her feel a certain way, you know, the guy who hits the gym a lot and who has a lot of money, but she won't quote unquote settle because she feels like she deserves more. You know what? I don't even care that I'm not talking to anyone right now. And I'm happy the last guy I was talking to ghosted me because clearly it wasn't meant to be. <laughs> Scott? Hey, it's Courtney from Bumble calling you back. Yeah, I was just wondering if you fancied a shag behind a dumpster. Ah, you're looking for something more casual. No problem. I just ex and uh, that's just the that, guys that notice how all these stories, gentlemen, these are not uncommon things. Right. And I'm just going to kind of talk over this woman because we've already heard her as it plays through. But again, this woman complaining about I want you guys to notice as well in this clip, she says that, um, you know, oh, the last couple of men have ghosted me. But later on in the clip, she actually tells on herself. And she says that, oh, all the guys say this and this. You see, because she's been through more than two dudes. We're actually going to play this through again. And I'll uh, have a listen to what she has to say. The second guy in a row to ghost me moments before the date. Like, I am ready. I am, I am assembled like an Avenger. I am ready to go. But not Michael. No, Michael's ready to ghost. And I know that's just like part of Dane, but oh my god, I am over it. I'm I'm over it, she says, guys. I, I have had enough. Dating is so difficult for me. You know, we uh we looked at a Reddit story the other day, guys, um, and it was like a girl saying, Oh, you know, women have difficulties in dating. We just have different difficulties. Yeah, no kidding. You have you have trouble removing your ego from the situation. You see, these girls, man, they can go on Tinder. They don't even, okay, they don't even have to go on dating apps, right? They can go out to your local bar, you know, your local club, your local, I don't care, a sports venue, yoga class with mixed genders in it. Um, you know, they can go to the library, the coffee shop, guys, and they can find a man. But somehow, guys, they always just seem to have such difficulty securing a guy. You ever notice that, guys? It's like, I'm sorry, at a certain point, it's not the, oh, the difficulties you face. At a certain point, it's just your ego. Your inability to accept someone who you deem to be lower than you, right? And when I say lower than you guys, like, I, I that's not me looking down on certain dudes. So, for example, a lot of these girls, later in this clip, right, she gets pissed off because she's like, oh, dudes lie to me about their height, right? And meanwhile, she's wearing a bucket load of makeup. But let's just ignore that for a second. These girls view themselves as above dudes who are, you know, below a certain height or earn below a certain amount of money. And the thing is, guys, you can have a guy who's earning five figures and be five foot tall, and the guy's like an all-round good dude. You know, he's got good morals, he's got v good values, but she doesn't care about that. She wants him to be six foot plus, guys. And you see, that's the disgusting. Really Austin, I am over dating in Austin. All the men here either are like, oh, I just moved here. Can you show me around? And then they ghost you or they're like, I'm just here for the weekend. No notice how she goes from, okay, two guys consecutively ghosted me. But now she goes on to say all the men say this, 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 and this. Guys, she's had, she's had more than two dudes. Right, see the caveat there is uh, consecutively ghosted me. Maybe she ghosted the ones before that, um, you know. But the thing is, guys, whenever girls give you these numbers, right? Like, oh, I was talking to two dudes. Please, guys, just triple the number. Like, uh, hell, multiply it by whatever, guys. Just make sure that you multiply the number, okay? Because it's not the last two guys have ghosted you. Because the thing is, like, I don't know this woman's age, guys. I don't know how old she is. But the thing is, like, you have... You, these girls do not have a body count of, like, two by the time they're 30. Or, you know what I mean? That's just not how it works. How am I supposed to date under these conditions? None of them ever want to date because there's so many people moving here that it's just so easy to just be like, on to the next person. And they all have the same hinge profile. And they'll say they're six foot, but they're actually five robots. And the thing is, okay, before we continue to the next one, guys, is like, the question remains, why would guys date? You know, like there's not a there's not a lot of reasons for men to go out there and date at the moment. The top percentage of guys, they don't have to date you. They don't have to show that they care. They don't have to pay a lot of money to see you because you're physically attracted to them and you're going to show up no matter what. The, the quote unquote bottom percentage of guys, why would they date? They've got to spend a lot of money. They've got to spend a lot of their time. 
you know, try and go out and validate you or do do all these chores that you try and make them jump through, you know, to get with you. So, so a lot of guys are looking at, okay, I either have to put in a lot of effort and she'll probably just walk away anyway because the effort turns her off or I have to, or there's no point dating because I can just get another girl anyway. You, the girls have done this to themselves, gentlemen, truly. And they'll say they're six foot, but they're actually five. Girl boss tip. A finance bro pays for your dinner. Take the money you would have spent on your dinner, invest it into crypto. Then the most crucial element, call him and reverse mansplain. You're welcome. Okay, I don't understand something. Like, how do we date? How do we date? I think things are going okay, and then you ghost me. Like, you have the audacity to ghost me. You can't even communicate. Freaking coward move. Not to say, like, hey, whatever. You just ghost me. If you're a boy, please keep watching because I don't know what goes through your freaking heads. Like, I haven't dated in a while, and I thought I'd put myself out there again because I'm like... Girl, you're nearly 30. You need to find someone. Look, I couldn't have said it better myself, guys. Notice that line that she says right there. I'm almost 30. I have to find someone. You see, you see what I'm saying, guys, about this, this clock starts going on. A lot of girls will say like, oh, I don't want kids and, and whatever, which is like, I don't care, right? If these girls don't want to have kids, you know, that's, that's fine. I, I, I personally couldn't give a crap what they do with their life. But just notice how everything is just so convenient, guys. Like, oh, you know, now I got to start uh, actually looking for a relationship. And I see these dudes who get in relationships with these girls who are like about to hit 30. And they're like, you know, finally, I, I put in all the hard work grinding and I finally found my woman. And the thing is, guys, is she's just checking out. She's just checking out. You're, you're the guy that she exited the dating market with. You see what I'm saying? She's like, OK, well, now it's time to uh, cash out my chips. I've had my fun and I'm going to I'm going to get a guy who I know is not really going to leave me. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of guys like, oh, look at my perfect girlfriend, my, you know, my my future wife and stuff like this. Or I finally find, found a real girl. And it's like, no, she just made the decision that she's running out of time. So now she's figures that she'll uh, set up a relationship with you. It's like you, you, you were choice number like 53. You see what I'm saying? And hell, a lot of the times it's more than 53. But I realized why I don't date. I went on a freaking first date. The guy was leading. He was great. He freaking led me on so hard. I didn't sleep with him. Don't worry, girls. We're not giving it up that easy. But Can I get a... Uh, okay. I don't know if I believe that or not. But, uh, you know, the, the guy is going to... Why would a guy... <laughs> the thing is, right, is a lot of guys have realized... You know, if she's into me, she's going to have fun with me early on. So the guy probably wasn't leading you on. He was probably just like, I'm I'm not giving up my commitment until you give up yours because I know you've given away yours earlier. You see, that's the thing. It's like a lot of guys know they're like, you see, she's getting into her 30s now. But I guarantee you guys, she's had those experiences in her early 20s where she's just went home with the dude on the first night. But now she wants to take things slower. So that th now she wants to take things faster, excuse me. So all of a sudden, it's an issue when the guys don't give you a relationship. But before, it seems to be totally fine because where's your boyfriend? You see, guys, like now they need the relationship. Now it's a problem. Now he's leading me on, right? But he then ghosted me the next day out of nowhere just no signal he was so keen he was so happy he even messaged me like as soon as he got home like why do you guys do that to us guys don't message women as soon as you get home okay i feel like i have to put these caveats in and these these things because i know that a lot of dudes who are watching these videos like you're out there dating guys if you go on a date with a woman if you hang out with a girl i even i hesitate to even use the word date these days guys but if you see a woman and you go off and you do an activity or whatever um and you get home after the activity so you've driven home please guys do not immediately message the woman and go like oh haha i had a great time it was nice seeing you gentlemen that is one of the fastest ways to to like repulse girls it truly is like i wish i was lying about that guys and you know you can take that or leave that if you want but that that's just the way it works guys don't be don't be going let them let her wander 
okay? I've tried to explain, guys. Like, these girls, they don't fall in love with dudes who are always there for them. They fall in love with the anxiety. They'll be looking at their phone. Guys, these girls are always on their phone, okay? They'll look at their phone afterwards and go, hmm, that's weird. He hasn't messaged me yet. Does, does he even like me? I thought he was interested, but maybe I read the situation wrong. And now all of a sudden her brain's, you know, she's thinking about you and crap like this. But the point is, guys, don't just have better things to do, man. D don't view it as like a manipulation tactical, like, haha, I'm not going to message the girl. Just have better things to do, guys, because Lord knows, you know, she probably doesn't give a crap at the end either. Okay, just go off and do your own thing. Don't worry about sending these girls messages to let them know that you're emotionally invested every step of the way, guys. Find some things that you're interested in doing. Like, this is why we have trust issues, because you guys do this to us. Like, why? Like, just like, I don't know why he ghosted me. This is a dating reminder that ghosting has nothing to do with you and everything to do with the other person. Sure. That's, uh, that's just not true. Like, you see, the thing is about these girls, right, is they're like, you know, this guy wouldn't commit to me. Obviously, it's his fault. Like, man, no. You might not have been a good match, but the fact they couldn't send you a quick text to let you know that is a sign of their lack of emotional maturity, not an indicator of your self-worth. So a few days ago, someone that I liked, you know, had feelings for, we were hanging out every day asked me to be their girlfriend, and then within a day they were like, yeah, actually I take it back. Eh, that was a joke. I don't want to be with you. Nope. And they just disappeared off the face of the earth. We're not talking. We probably never will, and I'll probably never receive closure. And as somebody that already has, you know, trust and abandonment issues, all the fun stuff, all the stuff the therapists eat up, you know, makes a good song. I let, let me pause it right there, guys. Like, okay, I don't know if she's specifically referring to her family, um, right there. If she's referring to her family, obviously, obviously that's rough, and I don't think that's really funny, right? Like, I guys, you already know on this channel. Um, the, the way I view this is like when girls create families and they kick the father out of the family. I hate that crap, man. And the reason why I hate it specifically is like, yes, it's rough on the dude, but it's also very rough on the kid. Okay, I I hate that crap, man. When people treat their kids like crap. But the thing is, if she's not referring to, you know, being abandoned early on in her family life and stuff like that, the other thing that this can be taken to mean is that she's been with a bunch of chads who haven't committed to her. In that case, guys, I have no empathy. I have no sympathy for the situation at all because that's all on you. Those are the men that you choose to date. And like, I understand that dudes are going to lie to you and you're, you're going to make mistakes a couple times, but these girls want to, you know, it seems to me, guys, like the mistakes often look like a conscious decision, right? They're chasing the chads repeatedly. They're constantly not getting commitment. And at a certain point, you're like, well, you're not you're not even trying to learn. It's almost like you're doing it on purpose. I was really close. I was really quick. There it is. Quick to jump to the conclusion of like, it's me. There's something wrong with me. I did something wrong. I was myself and it's still not enough. Like, I'm not good enough. And maybe it's because I'm growing up more, but I'm realizing like this generally has nothing to do with me. <laughs> It's not a me problem. It's a reflection on them. Like, this story makes them sound bad. I didn't do anything wrong. And, like, it sucks, but it's not me. Honestly, how embarrassing. How embarrassing. And to give this up. I really... And to look at, just look at the entitlement right at the end, guys. Like, you could almost accept that message. And then, like, right at the end, she just has to add this. Like, check this out. And, like, it sucks, but it's not me. Honestly, how embarrassing. How embarrassing. And to give this up. I to, to give this up, she says, guys. You know, the, the thing is, right, is like, maybe it is you. Maybe guys just aren't interested in having a relationship with you because you're not relationship material. Now, guys, I don't know this girl personally. Okay, but here's the thing, right? A lot of these girls are like, when they get rejected, when they get ghosted, they're very quick to say, oh, obviously, it's just the guy. Like, it's just he has issues, you know, obviously he doesn't respect his mother, like we've heard that one before, guys, or like, he doesn't get along with it, you know, he had a bad upbringing and that's why he rejected me, he rejected me because he has poor emotional intelligence, he rejected me because he's intimidated by me, like you've heard all the different things, guys, like the last one specifically comes from career women a lot of the time as they get into their 30s and they're like, Oh, you know, my salary and my career position just intimidates the man. It's like, no, maybe you're just not pleasant to be around, right? Like, again, I don't know this girl. I don't know this girl's life story or anything like that, guys. But, you know, where's the accountability? Where's like the, the second, you know, the few seconds of going, hey, you know what? Maybe this was my fault. Maybe that was my fault. Like, we've, we've all made stupid decisions, guys. 
You know, like, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, yeah, I haven't made stupid decisions. Guys, let me tell you, let me be the first to tell you, I'm not a very smart individual, guys. I've made plenty of mistakes, okay? I think we all have. Nobody's perfect. But to just sit there and go, you know what? Uh, ever, it's just their fault, right? It's just the other person's fault that they rejected me. It's like, no, th there's always something to learn, right? So I, I don't really, uh, I don't really agree right there. How embarrassing. And to give this up. I really need somebody to explain to me the whole thought process on how somebody can believe that ghosting is actually an okay thing to do. It's easier for you to what? Leave them hanging, leave them wondering, leave them completely disrespected. Before I even answer that question, okay, about why ghosting is or isn't okay, let me just ask you guys a question for those of you who have made it this far in the video, okay? Looking at this woman right here, do you think that this woman has ghosted a lot of men? The answer, guys, at least in my head, is most definitely, okay? These girls who complain about ghosting, I guarantee you, man, like nine times out of ten, they're doing so much more ghosting than them actually being ghosted. You see, it's only, guys, it's only an issue, right, when it starts to happen to them. It's only an issue when it happens to them like they don't see the guys that they've ghosted all throughout their entire life or treated like crap or anything like that and that's not to say that like oh yeah when i message a girl i'm deserving of a relationship or i'm deserving of like we all know that you don't go into these things thinking i deserve okay but here's the thing guys this woman i guarantee it has led on many men has ghosted many men but these girls will sit here and complain to you and try and get sympathy from you after doing the same thing themselves guys you know it's like really I honestly just don't get it. I get that it's hard to, you know, disappoint somebody or, you know, maybe you're afraid of hurting them, but you're hurting them more by disregarding them. I just will never understand this concept. I really will never get it. So I'm just- And see the, imp the thought there is like, uh, like why would guys care? You know, like this sounds really awful to say guys, but like, these girls, like, let me get, let me paint a picture for you, okay? Let's just say, I don't know, look, maybe, let's just say you're a top percentage guy, okay? You can choose from a bunch of women, and you're talking to them, and whatever. It's like, you look at these situations, and you start to think to yourself, you know, why would I commit to this girl over here, right? She obviously wants a relationship out of me, but I know, like, she's not loyal, you know, like these girls think that they play all these little games and they ghost like every, every other dude. And, you know, they go out to the club and they see this guy on Wednesday and then they, they go for a coffee with this guy on Friday. And they think that the dudes that they're trying to get commitment from don't actually see this. You know, it's like the question is, like, does he even owe you an explanation if you're seeing three other dudes anyway? You know what I mean? And obviously we don't know this girl's situation, guys. But too often I see these girls complain about ghosting and it's like, you, you you treat you know you mean nothing to the guy you're like girl number three and you have no right to complain because you know you've got guy number four you know it's like every it really makes no sense to me man so i'm just gonna say as nobody else is bringing it up what the hell is with all of this ghosting business <laughs> but if you've led somebody on right and you've slept with them and you said you want a relationship with them and then you decide actually you want to be single you don't want to settle down or you're not interested who do you think you are to completely cut that person off and give them no answers? Are you aware that that person is a human being with actual feelings? Yeah, they're not objects that you can just discard when you decide you're no longer interested. Get Guys, I've got to say, like, to a certain degree, I agree with her, you know? Ghosting, it's not a nice thing to do. It can be pretty manipulative. It can be pretty hurtful, okay? I'm not defending the act of ghosting, right? In the same way, guys, I don't think that cheating is a good thing to do. I think it's obviously a scummy behavior. Um, but do I have empathy for girls who are being ghosted? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. And the reason that I don't, guys, is because they do it all the damn time. But it's just not. It's just an issue when it happens to them. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. Um, you know, it just, uh, it's just it's always like a funny issue, right? They have to get on TikTok and cry about it when it happens to them. Get some and actually tell that person why you've decided to dismiss this or you don't want to take it any further, rather than disappearing. I recently had a girlfriend ask me, what do I do when a guy ghosts me? And my answer for this is that you weren't actually ghosted because you weren't actually texting this man because he never existed. So as long as you can convince yourself that you're 
and you're making people up in your head, you'll never get your feelings hurt. And, and is, I wonder if that's how they get the, uh, you know, that's the logic that they use to say that I've uh, been with zero guys in the bedroom. I'm trying to pause on that particular face right there. Let me see if I can pause it. it happens very quickly. Uh, Jeez. Okay. Fantastic pause frame there, guys. Here's the thing. I wonder if that's it. It seems to me, right, that that's the exact same logic that these women use when like, if you ever ask them what their body count is or something like that, they run the numbers in their head and they're like, oh, you know what? Jeffrey from the bookstore, he probably didn't exist because he didn't make me finish, right? And uh, Jim from down the road, you know, that didn't really count because, I, you know, we didn't really have a relationship. It was only twice or three times. I don't really remember. So now there's two off my count. And they just go through and before you know it, guys, they're like, oh, yeah, I've only had like two long-term relationships and I've been alone for six years. It's like, you have it, guys. These girls would, look at this face, man. These girls will be like, oh yeah, I've been single for like six years or I've been single for two years, you know, just just focusing on myself. You haven't been focusing on yourself, okay? You've had a Tinder guy here and there. You've had someone here or there. And hey, I don't particularly give a crap if you have or not, but let's just, let's just uh, call it for what it is, right? How about we use a little bit of honesty rather than going, you know, this guy over here didn't count um, because he never spoke to me again. Man, we saw last video, we saw... um. I, I actually it was a recent video right where one of the girls was like oh a guy will always come around he will always message again but here's the thing a lot of guys will never message you again right when you know when your little friends with benefits thing is over when your little situationship is thing is over i know dudes guys and they're like i'm i'm just never gonna message the woman again as far as i'm concerned she's complete as soon as i ghost that girl she's she's just completely gone Right, a lot of these girls seem to think like they're the only person in the universe and that guys will always come around. But the thing is, if you have terrible behavior, you know, if you're not girlfriend material, a lot of guys will just will just completely leave you, right? Let's see what this woman has to say. And this right, right here says, Aquarius and Gemini women are chaotic right now. You are an Aquarius or Gemini sun and you're having the urge to just blow up your love life right now. Um, I have it on good authority that that's happening to many women with those same placements. I don't know anything about astrology. I don't know if there's something going on, but maybe it's a phase or maybe 2022 is just a year of air sign chaos. Okay, so every night around this time, 10 p.m., I asked David, my fiance, to go and get me salt and vinegar chips from Circle K. And he's like, you please just go and get them. And I look at him in horror when he suggests this because I'm a woman. I cannot walk outside by myself and I let him know this. I would just be putting myself in harm's way. And he's like, okay, why don't we just go downstairs together then to get them? And then I tell him that I don't find it empowering that I have to walk around with a male protector everywhere that I go. And if I did that, I'd be letting the patriarchy win. So the only solution is that you need to get me the chips. So if anyone was wondering what it was like to be engaged to me, um, that's that. How lucky is David? Never been a soft. Uh, David should leave you immediately. I, I don't know, like, is that supposed to be funny? Like, if that situation is real, okay, and she's obviously, and she's not joking, in any case, don't get married anyway. But the point is, like, if she's not joking right there, I don't find that funny. Like, yeah, yeah, let's just treat our men like, you know, let's treat our fiancés, let's treat our boyfriends terribly and boast about it and laugh about it on TikTok. Guys, like, why is that even a thing? You know, it's, it seems to me, guys, like it's perfectly okay to say this stuff about dudes, but then you say it the other way around and all these girls just like, they have an absolute cry about it. You get kicked off the platform, whatever else, but it's perfectly okay for them to say it. I tell you what, that David guy should leave your ass immediately. Absolutely immediately. That sounds so unpleasant, honestly. Often submissive type of girl, blame it on the Aries in my chart, blame it on the childhood trauma, doesn't really matter, but I'm dominant and aggressive. Honestly, I love that about myself, I just feel like it's made dating very difficult for me. Didn't even go on what I would consider a real date until I was 24. So yeah, being dominant, being aggressive, being someone that people don't want to deal with, yeah, that's, uh, you know, the thing is, that's probably going to make a lot of men not want to be interested in you. You know, like if you're if you're a boss, babe, and you're on your grind and you don't got no time for no man, it's like a lot of guys will just look at you and think to themselves, OK, well, what's the point? You know, she she don't need no man. I'm uh, I'll agree with you. You don't need no man. You're perfectly fine. If you say that you the first time you went on a date was when you were 21 years old because, you know, you, you were too dominant, you were too alpha. It's like what you, you did it to yourself. You know, guys aren't interested in this. 
and you can tell this you can tell women this until you're blue in the face but they're like you know i'm a career woman i do what i want and that's totally cool go do what you want but the thing is like they have certain consequences like you know dudes can't go around acting all feminine and then expecting women to be attracted to them and vice versa that's just not how it works that was about two years ago and i understand the fact that men have no idea what to do with me because i give off really confident aggressive energy but then i'm really soft and shy and dainty and sweet when it comes to love it's very confusing for us both because i don't really have it in me to stroke random men's egos or to look like a damsel in distress to get attention or to play dumb or make myself smaller i like being the way that i am i just hate the fact that my confidence is always deemed as intimidating or overly masculine like you're not intimidating right this is guys girls get this so wrong every time they're like oh yeah i'm too confident and i'm you know i'm this i'm that and it intimidates guys no they just it we find it unpleasant okay okay i don't speak for every guy when i say that but i think the majority of men can agree that if you've got this boss babe alpha female as she calls herself this is text that she put on the screen by the way it says dating as an alpha female for those of you who are not looking at the screen right now and like you wonder why you can't find a man and you think that men are intimidated. They're not intimidated by you. They just don't want to have a relationship with you because it's unpleasant, you know? Why can't I be confident and aggressive and dominant and be feminine at the same time? Because those things are mutually exclusive. Like what? Like what? Well, hang, hang on, hang on. Let, let's back up. So smaller. I like being the way that I am. I just hate the fact that my confidence is always deemed as intimidating or overly masculine. Like, why can't I be confident and aggressive and dominant and be feminine at the same time? Because those things are often mutually exclusive. Like what? That's like saying, you know, uh, like, oh my, oh my man. Oh, I'm going to get a headache watching this. Excuse me, eyes up here. I found Lumberjack Daddy, found him online. I wish I had more updates for you. But the thing is... Everybody keeps telling me. Jack, don't chase. So whatever. I have gotten a very good workout though. So I thought I would give TikTok the, the pleasure of seeing my shoulder pump. Ka-chow, what is that, dirt? Lumberjack Daddy has apparently decided to play hard to get. So I guess my next move here is to figure out where he lives. <laughs> what? I, can, what? Can you imagine if a dude said this in his car, right? He's like, yeah, the, this girl's playing hard to get. The next thing to figure out is where she lives. What, man? Imagine if a dude said that, right? Like, what? what's so funny about this? <laughs> Kidding. that's terrible and guys that's at the end of the video right there i had a couple of reddit stories to go into but this episode has dragged on long enough gentlemen i hope you enjoyed today's episode on women who are getting ghosted guys gentlemen make sure to leave your thoughts and your comments to some of the things that we went over today and as always guys make sure to take care of yourselves and i'll be seeing you boys in the next one peace Yo guys, Past Taylor here. Just want to say thank you very much for making it to the end of the video. This video was made with the blood, sweat, and tears of my editor, guys. So make sure you go and give him some love. Uh, if you've got an Apple Watch, you can get some free wallpapers for it over on his website, which is linked at the top of the video description. So make sure you go and bookmark it to show some support for your boy who is risking his sanity for us. Uh, stay safe, gentlemen, and take care. Peace for real this time.